All right, so let's take a look at our podcast setup as, as we go. So we got the sweet microphone here. We got the camera. We got the cross toe over here. How am I looking? Um, we just need proper lighting. So let's just turn on these bad boys right here. What we're turning on is the Julius Studio 160 LED lights. And bam, ready to rock, looking sharp. Now, in the back, you can't really see that on-air Tim Zabriskie sign. So what you do is you just click on the settings, you go to configure video, you, you go to camera control, and you turn off auto exposure. You bring it back a little bit, and now we're looking pretty good to go. So basically now, you know, we have a pretty good lighting setup. You can see the sign in the back. You see on the cross tour. Cross it didn't really change that much, but that's okay. But this, these lights are fantastic for what they are. So, um, especially for that price point. Now, if, as you can tell, this is the size of each one of them. But the box itself was about this big because it did come with the metal rods itself. It did come with a bunch of different filters that do slide in the front. It lets you change the different temperature and everything like that. So that's really helpful in, in itself. And also with that too, you know, it did come with the instructions. But what is the one thing that, that you think that it would come with and it didn't come with? the power source so make sure you know it doesn't come with a battery pack so basically you get to use five different types of batteries AA batteries or high mh batteries sony sony lithium batteries which i chose i put a description down in the bottom because it did come with a little charger panasonic lithium batteries and uh yeah you're good to go it so also did let's take a look at the different sort of tests i just did down like out downstairs and outside. So downstairs for what you can see, I started it off with, you know, just the basic night light that we have. And then what I did was I turned that off, made it completely dark. I turned the one on here. And as you can see, I turned on the other one and look how bright it made the entire place. So let's take a look at what I did outside. So outside what I did was I took a camera and I put it on the table. I took one of the lights and put it over to the right I took another light and put it over to the left and as I turn them on BAM as you can see it totally lit up the backyard I was able to make it out probably you know 20 to 30 feet I would say before I started to fade away and then um, as I started to come back you can start to see I, I, I got lit up like a Christmas tree let's say so for the price point I would definitely say that this is great what I wish was that I wish that they really made it clear in the description that it did not come with the battery pack but besides that this thing is good to go luckily when I first bought the cameras I had enough AA batteries to make it work but those die pretty fast so make sure that when you pick up the um, Make sure that when you pick these up, you definitely pick up the battery packs that I put the link down for below, and then you'll be ready to rock. But I definitely would say for your home podcast setup, this is great. Look how lit up I am right now. Look at this little shadow right here. It's okay. You just, you just, you know, you move the microphone a little bit. Like, bam. All right. You're good to go. Um, make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll take a look at something else in a day or so. I don't know. I got no schedule. <laughs> Talk to you later.